Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bear Beer Reviews. Today we have a beer all the way from California, this is from Boonville, California. This is uh, Anderson Valley's Barney Flats Oatmeal Stout. I have yet to try anything by uh, good old Anderson Valley, but they have a beer and it has antlers on it, and hence I'm interested. Uh, again, American cans, I'm useless with them. Plus someone just please tell me where I can find ABVs on them, because I haven't got a clue. I picked this one up in, in uh, Sweden. Uh, 5.7, there we go, 5.7%. Um, and they've been bar, bar horning since 1987, whatever that means. Uh, so let's crack this up and see what we've got. I do like a good oatmeal stout, like kind of creamy, oh, silky, oh, fuzzy. That kind of um, silky mouthfeel that it is supposed to be giving a good old stout, give it extra mouthfeel, and I always think that stouts should have a good mouthfeel. Right, terrible pour as usual, but as you can see it is a wonderful pitch black. Oh actually no, it's, it's got a little bit of brown to it, it's almost like a very dark brown, twinge on the edge of black. Um, and a fantastic, really super milk chocolatey head on it though. Head's almost as dark as a blooming beer. Um, so let's get a good nose on it. Mmm, it smells like a sweet milky coffee actually. There's a lot of chocolate in it too, but the overall, the overall nose is less of the dry roast, the more of the sweet chocolate smells. With a little, just touch, touch of a nice pot of coffee at the end of it as well. It certainly smells good though. So, cheers everyone, let's give it a try. Oh yeah. Oh, it's most certainly an oatmeal stout. The, um... The smoothness. It just drinks uber, uber smooth. Uh, some people say oatmeal gives base a sort of slick, oily flavour. Um, kind of akin to, I don't know, something kind of really greasy. You, know, you get kind of coating on the mouth uh, and on the tongue that kind of lasts. I personally like it. You get a super silky, smooth, it's like... It, it, I say it's like drinking velvet every now and then, but it really is. It slips across the palate, it slips across the tongue really easily. It's never harsh. There's such a smooth amount of carbonation and, and, and body. Uh, it's nice. It's a nice chunky body too, but it just slips um, so easily across your entire mouth. Uh, I think mouthfeel can be so important sometimes. You know, adding a bit of crunch into a, a really bland dish can sometimes boost it. The same with the beer. I'm not saying this is bland at all, but mouthfeel plays an important part in the overall experience and the mouthfeel in this is sublime. Really sublime mouthfeel. And it is, it's quite a sweet stout. Um, it's not overtly bitter, it's very tame bitterness, it just comes on the back of the palate quite a long time after you've taken the sip. But you initially get an onrush of sweet milk chocolate and then kind of just rolls into a bit of roast and into a bit of coffee and then gently smooth its way over into a bitterness. Uh, this is a remarkably, remarkably easy sipping stout. It really is. I could sit with a pint of this or several pints of it and that's probably a good, a good sign. Um, oh man, yeah, it is nice. I really like this. This is a good stout. Um, recommend it if you do find it. Anderson Valley's Barney Flat Soap Mill Stout. It's it's a good one. I, I would definitely easily have a few cans of this. It ain't gonna knock anything out of the park. It's not um, it's not like a super oh, put cocoa nibs and chili and a thousand other things into it. But you know, for a good example of an oatmeal stout, they couldn't go much wrong. This is an eight and a half out of ten. Uh, it's really nice. It's really nice. It is. Um, so there you go. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. If you have had anything about Anderson Valley, am I missing out? Should I get more? Should I go back to Sweden and demand? in the system bottle gets that they get more bearing. Um, and until the next bear review, cheers everyone.